Okay, so it has been quite a while since I was last in front of this camera, so I'm going to keep this intro nice and short because they are for sure the hardest part to film to get into sort of the rhythm of doing it. But anyway, hello from Dubai. I'm only here for a few days, which is great because it is incredibly hot and I've only bought black clothing. Um, I'm here, as I said, for a couple of days to test and produce some content for some products that I'm launching later this year that I think you're going to be really interested in. So welcome to the behind the scenes vlog for the Ultimate Lens Hood Kickstarter version 2. Now I will of course be showing you the products but at the moment I want to show you uh, how I filmed that because I'm rather pleased with myself and also a few ULH users I reckon it'll be of interest. So in the bathroom here they've got this massive sheet of glass between the shower and the bed which is a little bit strange but each to their own. Now on here I've got the 6D Mark II filming with the 16 to 35 with the lens hood getting rid of all of that reflection. And on the outside, I've got this really handy field recorder that was capturing the audio, and then I synced the two in post, and that is how that shot was done. But anyway, time to talk about... Okay, so to start with, we've got the one that was requested most often by backers. Uh, the original lineup was the full-size ULH and the ULH Mini. Now, in between, there was always a bit of a problem where if you had a kit lens or any lens with a 58 millimeter filter thread, it was always a question of which one to go for. The full-size ULH, because it starts at 60 millimeters, was a little bit too loose on some of those medium-sized lenses. And the ULH Mini, because it only stretched to 60, 65 mil, was too tight for comfort. It wasn't that easy to fit to some of those uh, kit lenses. So introducing the ULH Go, it's the medium size in the range. It's got a 50 millimeter opening, but because it's still made out of stretchy silicon, it will actually open out to nearly 100 millimeters. So even if you're using a big lens, like the 82 millimeter filter thread on the 16 to 35, this one will still work a treat for you. Uh, new for this year, all three of these have an anti-static coating, but this one's actually launching on Kickstarter with it fitted or with it you know, on there already. So um, it, it, any dust, grit, sand, whatever in your bag or from the environment, if that gets on there, it'll just brush straight off. Just as compressible as before, um, that's a ULH Go, perfect for travel. If you already own the full-size ULH, um, you won't necessarily get as much pan and tilt angle. Um, you can still go 16 mil full frame with this, just about, but this one does give you a little bit of wider focal length. Um, and it doesn't, the medium one doesn't also give you as much weatherproofing if you're using a larger camera. But for most people, I think the ULH Go is going to be the one that will stay in your bag most often because it is a really handy size. Uh, this one's also finished. This is a, the tooling is complete. This is the actual product that you'll be receiving if you back on the Kickstarter later this year. And because of that, I'm going to be introducing what I'm calling the Ultra Bird, which means for the first 500 or so people that order, you'd actually have this dispatched the week the Kickstarter ends. So really no waiting at all, which I'm really, really happy and excited about. But under here, this one's not finished quite yet. Um, this one is also unnamed, uh, it's going to be a ULH for your smartphone. Uh, going to have a, a clip on here that will stretch over um, any phone and the opening here is nice and wide. So if you've got a phone with a cluster of lenses on there, like the Samsungs or even the, the iPhone with the dual lenses, that'll fit over there. And then the idea, just, just as the rest, it made out of silicon and it will let you take photos and videos just with your smartphone without any reflection. So very excited for this one. At the time of filming this, it's not finished just yet, still in development, um, but the ULH Go is all ready and uh, good to go. Okay, so that about wraps this one up. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it's something you are interested in and excited about. One last thing, fitting them is exactly the same as before. So, you know, lens hood in one hand, lens, straight over, job done. Um, supports itself much better than the original full size one, uh, being that little bit smaller its weight doesn't overcome it as much, so you can leave it uh, hands free for many hours to do your time lapses, which I think a lot of you will really appreciate because the feedback of it's too soft, too floppy um, for time lapses was something I was getting quite a lot of. So for this one, really, really happy with that. Um, I've got to head off now, I've got to go up to the top floor, film some content um, of the skyline, and then this evening I'm going to go and get some uh, sunset photos and video for the campaign, which I'm very, very excited about, because um, the sunset here with the skyline is absolutely incredible. So I'm going to leave that one there. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please do so, because there's any more updates. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions, because your questions now will help me steer the content for the campaign when it launches in around September. So um, it'll be a year on since the last campaign. Um, it's been a mad year so far, so for that, thank you so much, all you backers out there, because you, you really made this possible, which is a cliche thing to say, 
but it is true. But there you are. So I'll let you get back to your days. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to show you how I just filmed that because I think it might be of interest to you. It, oh, I just walked into that and it, oh, that hurt, whatever.